Do you remember the ship? One of the reasons for this accident was bank cushion and suction effect on ships. Well, let's find out what it is. But before that, read everything about ships, shipping and maritime in our free mobile app. Download link is in the video description. When a ship moves through restricted waters, it has to navigate close to the shore and other man-made structures because of the limited navigable width. The shallow water and proximity of the sides of the channel affect the ship navigating through the restricted waters. These effects cause errors in maneuvering, which can lead to grounding or collision. Any ship, regardless of its size, navigating through restricted waterways is heavily affected by hydrodynamic effects. In this video, we will understand one of the most common effects experienced by ships, bank effects. Bank effect refers to the tendency of the ship's stern to swing towards the near bank when the ship is operating in a river or restricted waterway. Before we move into the details of the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any video from Marine Insight. Let's understand the bank effect in its most simplistic form. The hydrodynamic pressure distribution system around the forward-moving ship can be seen as a boundary layer of water that surrounds a ship when it's making headway. Forward of the pivot point of the ship, a positive pressure area builds up. However, after the pivot point, the flow of water down the ship side creates a low pressure area. This area extends out from the ship and does not cause any concern in deep waters or when the ship is clear of any obstruction or traffic along her route. However, when the ship closes in on a bank, the pressure on the bow works on a short turning lever forward the pivot point. But the lower pressure or suction area, on the other hand, works well after the pivot point and is consequently a very strong force. The suction area further drops in pressure as the water gets squeezed and accelerates. As a result of the two forces, the stern of the ship is likely to be sucked into the bank. It can be very difficult to break out of this hold. The ship requires constant corrective rudder action and power, sometimes hard over even in order to control the hedging. Bank effect increases with an increase in speed. If the speed is too high, the bank effect can be severe and sudden. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know in the comments. Also, tell us if you have ever experienced a bank effect on your ship.